Hey Polish peeps and welcome back to my channel. I hope everybody's having a wonderful day like always. Um, so today's video I'm going to be doing my second video on my 52 week nail challenge or nail art challenge. I'll be doing weeks 5 through 8. Yeah. Yeah. No. Yes? I think so. So, first off, nothing on my nails. Again, I have been working on my live swatches for my Out of Space Stories collection from Essence. So that's like working on that video and then now I'm recording this video. So hopefully you'll be seeing that after this one or a Topic Tuesday. We'll see. Um, so my nails are clean. I did just rip off my thumbnail getting ready to record this video. I had a little uh, tear down at the bottom and I was adjusting and it just went rip and I was like, ow! Luckily it didn't um, like get to the skin part so it doesn't like hurt her. It was just kind of like, whoa! But so it came off in like one clean break. It's a little weird having two different like nail sizes for my thumbs. I'll keep my nail length on my rest of my fingers, but I'm gonna make my thumbs short and it's fine. That happens all the time. I use my thumbs for like everything, so I get tears in them quite often. But let's get on with the video. Uh, so week five was very um, easy, uh, although it was really hard to pick a polish for that prompt, which was holographic. And I have a, no, I don't have like a very extensive holographic collection, but you know, the ones I do have, I like really like, and I'm like, oh, which one should I use? Which baby should I use and put on today? But I chose Orly's Mirror Ball. Of course, I'll be inserting pictures of all of the manicures. And I love this um, holographic polish because it's like really unique to me. And at least it's a silver, linear hollow with then scattered silver hollow in it and it's just so gorgeous on the nails um it does take a while to like get it opaque on the nail it's usually a three coater especially since my nails are so like dark my free edge so I, it takes me a while to get things to be like completely opaque so some things that might be two coaters for other people can be like three or four coats for me but that was a really awesome polish to wear. I have worn it before, obviously, because the um, the line, sorry, I can't really see it, but it's like right here. I have worn it, I think, two, maybe three times now. And then week six, the prompt was leaves, and I was like, oh God, what am I gonna do for leaves? I actually thought about like taking leaves from outside and then like crushing them up and putting them on my nail, but I didn't end up doing that because I found a stamping plate of mine because I don't stamp very often. I'm not very good at it. I think I need a different like jelly stamper, so we'll see. I need to get one of those soon, but I found a few leaf patterns on my um, stamping wheels. I got these from, I, I got a pack of stamping plates from Queen, and this is the one that I used. Okay, I'm gonna have to not get the flash like straight on there. This is the design that I used, and this is plate JQ-41. But uh, I used, for the base, I used my Franken polish which is that like weird beigey shimmer with um, gold and green glitter in it. And then I used, for the stamping, I used Pure Ice's Scandal. And it didn't stamp as opaque as I wanted it to. Um, I should have picked a different color. I probably should have, just, should have just done black, but I wanted it to be brown because I wanted it to kind of go together and be kind of like a neutral manicure. And it did turn out really well. I just wished it had, you know, been a little bit more opaque. And I mean, this was the most successful stamping that I have ever done. So I was pretty happy about it. And I plan to do more stamping in the future. I just, um, I got to get a better 
stamper. Um, and if you have any any suggestions on like good stampers, please tell me down below and I will like look them up because I really want to get into stamping more because it's like so much easier than like freehand. I can do freehand to an extent, but I want to try stamping because it looks so much fun and I see people like doing it all the time and I just want to try it more. So for week seven, it was Valentine's Day and I was really proud of myself because I used two out of my five project polishes for this one. And my base was, so this is kind of like a little bit of an update on my project polish, but I will be doing an updated project polish video probably at the end of this month or next month, we'll see. My secret lace jelly, red jelly with gold shimmer in it. So see, I did use a little bit of it there. And then I used Dance from my Sally Girls. Went from here to here. And that's that glitter topper. I did a little like jelly sandwich on my index finger for an accent nail. And then uh, I was just gonna like do some hearts. But I decided to take, I have these like heart stencils or vinyls whatever you want to call them. And I literally picked out the black like insides and put them on my nail. It took forever and I did it on all of my nails except for the accent nail and my thumb. But yeah, I will of course be using these stencils later and I will use those hearts, I'm sure. But I, you know, like to use like all of the hearts of a stencil. So eventually I'll be using like these and whatnot. I had, I can't remember the brand that these stencils are. I will list that down below here and in my description box. I just can't remember the name off the top of my head. And then for week eight, um, I didn't really like this manicure. It was, um, the prompt was blue plus gray or gray plus blue, whatever. And I did I used another one of my project polishes, which is great. I painted my ring finger and my middle finger uh, with my blue from my project polish. I didn't get much of a difference from using it just on these four fingers, but I painted these blue and then I painted the rest of my fingers, so my index finger and my pinkies with this Avon gray polish called Urban Gray. And I've had this polish for a while. Obviously the fill line is almost halfway. Uh, so I did that and then I used a fan brush and I should have been putting the polish on a some sort of plate or some surface that I could just like brush this through the polish. Instead I like put the polish on there with the brush itself and it just didn't come out the way I had envisioned it in my head uh, and it looked, it just didn't look as well as I had seen it in my head on the nail. But I did like it, I did wear it for a while. Um, I just wish I had executed it a little bit better, but yeah. Those are my four manicures that I did for my for February for my 52 week nail challenge I will of course be updating you on the next four for March I will be including this other nail art that I'm doing for a collab for St. Patrick's Day I'm still a week behind on the 52 week nail challenge but I have to do week 9 and then also week 10 and this St. Patrick's Day collapse, so I my nails are going to be very busy um, this next few weeks here. Uh, but yeah, that's it, guys. I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope you liked the manicures. Please let me know down below which one was your favorite, and I will see you guys later. I hope you have a wonderful day. Bye.